Christine, ocean currents are part of the Earth's atmosphere and happy dance. One of those currents is making headlines in the Gulf this hurricane season. For more on it, we've got Zach Fredella tracking the science. Yeah, guys, you know, these whole earth, ocean currents, they run the globe. They're in the southern hemisphere, the northern hemisphere. They make up a lot of really what drives the weather across uh, the entire Earth. They can create droughts. They can create monsoons. They do a lot. So let's focus on one that's a little bit closer to home here. And what, we're, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the oceanic heat content right now. And what is this? It's not exactly water temperatures. Water temperatures are one piece to this puzzle, but it shows you where the highest fuel is for hurricanes right at this moment. This changes throughout the rest of summer going into the fall when we actually start to get bigger storms. But a thing I want you to focus on, yeah, the whole Caribbean, it's full of that high oceanic heat content, a lot of energy for hurricanes. But you see this little piece of that Caribbean water getting pushed into the Gulf? That's what we know as the loop current, okay? The Gulf of Mexico loop current. It's pretty common. It's actually always around. Every single year we have this thing uh, poking out of uh, the Caribbean and into the Gulf of Mexico. It's very deep warm water, and that's the key for these loops, as we call them, over the Gulf. When we have a hurricane coming across the loop current, it not only has that warm water at the top layer, it has depth. And that warm water with depth is huge because when a hurricane comes, it blows the water around. So if it's a shallow layer of warm water, you upwell or you cool the water very quickly. But when it's deep like we get with the Gulf of Mexico loop current, it's a big deal. Typically the highest hurricane fuel in the Gulf, it's over the Gulf of Mexico's loop current that comes out of the Caribbean. And each season this exists. This is not something new. This is not something randomly that's happening this year. But this year it's certainly more pronounced uh, than what it has been over the past few years. Two big storms that we know of went over this loop current back in 2005. Number one, you know this track. It's pretty obvious. Went over South Florida, was a tropical storm cat one, jumped to a category five as it crossed that loop current. That would be known as Katrina. And then a few weeks later, Hurricane Rita moved into the Florida Straits as a tropical storm, crossed the loop current and jumped to that category five. So it goes to show you the potential uh, for hurricanes, for tropical storms uh, when they move over that really deep warm water that exists with the loop current. Now, warmer water doesn't always equate to more storms, and I want to reiterate that point. We've been talking about how warm the Atlantic Ocean is, how warm the Caribbean and the Gulf is. It's not always equating to a busier season or more storms, but it does, however, increase the intensity potential, increase the upper portion of that in intensity potential. Get this, a three degree Fahrenheit increase of water temperatures can increase hurricanes wind speeds by 20%. So just having that small increase in the water temperatures, you then can go from 150 miles per hour category four, which in years prior, that would be 150 miles per hour category four, Ida, that then becomes the possibility of 180 miles per hour category five. And one thing to point out with that, the damage potential increases exponentially the higher the category. So all of these things ma are magnified, Rob, as you go along uh, with warmer water temperatures. And of course, that loop current, that deep warm water, that's something we're gonna be watching throughout the rest of the summer and through the peak of hurricane season when some of those storms, they do path, pass right across that loop current on a normal basis. Right, yeah, you, you're talking about you know, August, September, but still now you've got to keep a close eye on. Exactly, and you know, the more we get now, like some weaker tropical storms, that does cool that water too. So the weaker storms right now might help us in the long run. Uh, staying quiet for several months until the peak of hurricane season just allows those water temperatures to keep rising. All right, thanks for that, Zach.